Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to show a new bolt option that's available in Tackle Structures version 2019. So here let's just start with a simple example. I have two plates as you can see here on screen and I have a bolt going through the middle of them. You can see that there are holes inserted into those plates. And if I double click on this, the section that I want to focus on here is this holes section down here. So traditionally, this is where we would indicate if we wanted slotted or oversized holes in any of the plies that are being bolted together. So the way that this would work is that if you look at the bolt head there, and if you tick this first box, the first object that the bolt passes through, you can then control if you want a slotted or oversized hole. Well, the new option that we've added here in the drop-down list is the ability to create no hole. So historically in Tekla, if you insert a bolt, it would automatically create a hole in the object, even if there were times when you didn't necessarily want a hole. So now if I check this no hole option and click on modify, you can see that it removes that hole from that first plate. If I go ahead and check this second box here and click on modify, it removes the hole from the second plate. So there's a few scenarios in still detailing where this can come in handy. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So let me open up my first view here on elevation grid line A. And if we take a look at this scenario here, if I rotate around the model, these are just decking profiles. This could be used for sheeting or panels, for example. And oftentimes what will happen is you want to insert screws into the model that will be filled drilled or filled screwed. And if you put them into the model, you're able to get the quantity in your reports. However, in previous versions, if you were to insert a screw and attach it to an object, it would automatically include a bolt hole. That would then cause these two panels to get different piece marks, as you can see here. But if I come into the bolt holes now, and if I activate this new special hole option to create no hole and click on modify, I can then rerun my numbering and now these panels will get the exact same piece mark. That way I can ship out all the panels that are identical regardless of what the screw pattern will be and then the screws can be inserted out on site but I can generate the quantities directly from my model. So let's take a look at another example. So if I open up this elevation on grid line B and let's spin this around so we can take a look at this framing scenario here. So this could be, for example, like in the metal building industry where I have these girts or purlins. And oftentimes what they do is they'll create these objects with pre-punched holes in them so that they can be used in different framing scenarios. For example, I need to put in a brace down here and it could utilize that hole. Or I could have a brace that utilizes a hole up here, but because they're pre-punched, I can ship out a bunch of objects that are the same piece mark that can be used in various scenarios. So now if I use this no hole option here, it won't create a hole here in my pre-punched member, but it will create a hole here in this angle brace so that it can be properly fabricated. And then if I highlight both of these, I can see here that they have the same mark even though some of the framing scenarios are slightly different. So let's look at one last example here within the model. If I zoom in here on this stair, we can take a look at these treads. And let me go ahead and hide the existing bolts that are here. So here we can see this tread is a bought out item. It has holes that are already pre-drilled in it. It has a slot, for example, here and then one hole. If I go in and insert bolts, I don't want to create new holes in this bought out item because the holes are already in there, but I do want the correct length of bolt. So what I can do is use this no hole option where it won't create a hole in the tread, but it will create a hole in the stringer. That way my lengths are correct and I don't have additional strange holes in my tread. And then if I go ahead and open up my drawing, I can easily see here within the bill of material the correct quantity of bolts that are required. As you can see down here in the bill of material, so I have accurate quantities, but I don't have additional holes in the model. So there are just a few scenarios of where this new no hole option can be beneficial to you. As mentioned, this is available in version 2019. We invite you to try it out. Send us any feedback that you may have. And we hope you enjoy this new development.